welcome back to Just a Sister Thing. I'm Rebecca and like the title of the video says I'm going to be reviewing the October 2022 uh, base box for BoxyCharm and I, of course it's all like Halloween themed. I think it's pretty cool that they sent it with you know orange uh, packaging you know what I mean it's like little attention to detail like that is pretty cool but I'm not going to waste your time with a long intro let's go ahead and get started. Just in case you're interested in what my uh, nail color is here, it's this really unique uh, color from uh, Sally Hansen Color Therapy. It has almost a gold green shift to it, which I thought would be nice for fall. It's called uh, Pomegranate, and it's actually still, I bought this like a year ago. Actually, no, that's not even true. My sister or my niece gave this to me like a year ago, but I pulled it out for fall. And it's actually still on the uh, Ulta website, so it must be a pretty good seller for it. You know how companies are always constantly switching their colors up, but it is still available. Okay, for the theme this month, of course, you know, it's October, Halloween. It says, everyone will be under your spell. It's a very cool design with gold and purple. I have a lot of skincare items this month. Uh, this one is uh, it's called Transport. Uh, let's see here. It's Psalm Institute Transport Exfoliating Glycolic Acetate. These retail for $65. I'm going to insert a clip uh, because I will use this at the end of the day today and uh, when I'm taking all my makeup off and I'll show you what it looks like. Hello, this is future me later that night after I've chipped all of my nail polish off. Does anybody else do that when you put nail polish on? You just have this desire to start chipping at it. <laughs> I also apologize that my headscarf is incredibly bright and I hope I'm not blinding everybody with that. So this little container has 50 treatment pads, which is quite a bit. You're supposed to smooth the pad over your clean face, neck, and upper chest after using. I think it smells pretty good. Uh, it just smells fresh like a spa. However, um, it was a little bit drying, I will say, after I put it on. I immediately had to put some moisturizer on. But again, it is supposed to be, you know, exfoliating the top part of your skin, the top layer of your skin. So that's going to happen. So it wasn't too bad. So I already have my skincare on. So I'm going to switch over to the next item, which is serum. This was my choice for October. This is called Earth Harbor Naturals. Celestine Hydra Plumping Peptide Serum. It's a very long name. This retails for $45. It's supposed to be hydrating. It replenishes, the, I'm sorry, it replenishes, oh my lord, it replenishes the skin with eight juicy botanical hydrators, including three molecular weights of plant based hyaluronic acid. Okay, so I'm going to take a look here. That's cool, it's very blue. Very neat. I see the Earth Harbor line on BoxyCharm sale all the time. I'm not sure if I've tried it yet. I don't think I have. So I'm gonna put some of this on. Should be enough. Oh, it's very cooling. When you first put it on, it feels like it's not going to be very moisturizing, but it actually kind of feels like a, um, feels like a cream. It's very neat. Very refreshing. I got this uh, new fan uh, from uh, Claire's Boutique in the mall. They had a bunch at the register. My niece just got her ears pierced the other day. And we were checking out and like my other fan broke and it's, it's just not repairable. So I've got a new fan here. I think these were 10 bucks and I think I got like a percentage off. So this ended up being like eight bucks. It's very heavy duty though. All right, next for the skin is this Dew of the Gods Tahitian Breakfast Dewy Collagen Primer. I have used the Dew of the Gods, um, I think it was just their uh, skin cream. And I will tell you, it really does make your skin dewy. Uh, so this retails at $32. Um, let's see, this, uh, they said to think of this as your skin morning collagen smoothie. Uh, it has plant and fruit extracts, uh, milky serum, 
to tone and prime your skin for the next stage of your routine. So let's take a look here. All right, this is what it looks like. It's kind of cute uh, packaging. Very tropical, Hawaiian looking. Looks like a pale pink. I'm not going to put too much under my under eyes because uh, I don't want it to make my under eyes crease. Okay, this really doesn't have a scent to it. Uh, this one, however, it almost mind, reminded me of menthol, a little tiny bit of menthol. Uh, this stuff doesn't really have any scent. Next in the box is an eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my makeup on, like my face makeup and stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, face makeup is on. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this really cool palette by Ciate London. Uh, this is the, called their Spice Palette. Uh, it retails for $39. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, to get everything I've gotten in my palette so far, plus a face, or I'm sorry, plus a uh, eyeshadow palette. Wow, this is pretty. Wow, very pretty packaging. Very luxe. All right, let's see here. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Take that off. Wow, this is definitely a fall palette. This is like the epitome of fall colors. How beautiful. And it's gonna go with my uh, turtleneck I have here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. And there's a really nice mirror in here too. I just don't wanna blind you guys. But I'm gonna swatch these and we'll take a look. Okay, here they are. Very pretty. I love the cranberry colors and that brown's gonna make a perfect, I'm sorry, the brown's gonna make a perfect uh, eyeliner or an outer uh, corner, you know, to deepen your uh, eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and get these on the eyes.
Okay, so this, oh, I've already ruined it. I have no idea what that is. Maybe setting spray? <laughs> but this is probably, I would say, if I only had one palette to get through fall with, I would be happy with this. This is beautiful. They blended beautifully. Uh, the metallics, uh, the shimmers, just a beautiful, beautiful palette. I'm so happy I got this. This was a uh, pleasant surprise in my palette, or I'm sorry, in my box this month. Okay, last item in the box is this uh, Saint Lux. Let me see here. Setting spray. It retails at $25. Uh, it has a micro fine mist. Let's take a look here. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what's on my lips, I went ahead and used this ColourPop pencil. It's their lippy pencil in Skimpy. And I used Almay lipstick here. This is Go Wild 120. And as a topper, I used this uh, Ulta Thor lip gloss, and this is their nude one, which I think all of their Thor line is inside the store on sale right now. It's on their clearance rack, but this is a really pretty uh, nude lip gloss. All right, let's set it and forget it. This is the Saint Lux setting spray. Let's see here. Ooh, it smells good. I obviously like a lot of setting spray. I'm going to use my sponge here to push my highlighter in. I would not say that is a micro fine setting spray. In fact, I'm kind of like scrunching it into my hair a little bit. Um, it's a little bit heavier than micro fine. Yeah, that definitely needs dried. <laughs> smells really good. I can't place the scent. Uh, I do like it though. It's just a little heavier than what they say. Um, yeah, it says it has aloe extract. I'm not sure what that is. I kind of looks like the word aloe, but it's probably not aloe. It does have fragrance, but I don't specify what the fragrance is. But it feels really nice, and it does look like it helped the powder settle into my skin. So I like it. Okay, guys, that wraps up the video. I don't have any complaints this month. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the price uh, comparisons uh, at the is that a word? Comparisons? Maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to put that at the end of the video like I always do at the end of my BoxyCharm video so you can know what the uh, retail price was and the overall total and what I actually paid for my subscription. So uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next month for the November BoxyCharm. Have a good one, guys.